Okay, hello everyone. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch the video that I posted, uh, the longer one for the homogeneity test. So as I did for the goodness of fit, since we're not using the TI Inspire calculators anymore, I'm going to show you um, how to do the actual uh, math part, get the mechanics and the uh, chi-squared test statistic using another link. Okay, so this is the example about the uh, treatments and for the diagnosis for depression or uh, no signs of depression. So I'm going to go ahead and use the link that we have right here and put in my categories. So my categories I have placebo. My category two for treatment was the St. John's wards. And then for category three is the POSREX. For uh, group one and group two, this one is depression returned and no sign of depression. So I'm gonna just say depression. And then for this one, I'm gonna say no depression. All right, and hit next. All right, so I'm going to just type in my uh, two-way table numbers. I've got 24 for St. John's Wart, 22 for the POSREX, 14. For the no depression, I had 6 from the placebo, 8, and then 16. All right, and you hit next. Okay, and as you can see, it gives you the – oh, sorry. Let me just get my significance level, 0.05. There we go. So a couple of things to point out before we just kind of go through the chi-squared, but one of the things I want to make sure you understand is in the uh, parentheses, and again, if you read all of this that I'm highlighting, if you read all that, it will tell you kind of what everything means. But if you look in your actual two-way table in parentheses, all right, not the brackets. So in parentheses, you've got the expected values for each one. And again, the uh, kind of the calculator way you can do this without using this link would be to do row total times column total divided by grand total. So I know it's kind of silly, but if you ever get into a bind and you don't have you know, a, a link on a website like this, you can always multiply, again, the row total for this cell you're looking at, the column total for that cell, divided by the grand total, and that will give you the expected value. So that's how they got 20 for placebo and depression. You can do 60 times 30 divided by 90, which is going to be 20. Okay, so if you look for each in each cell, you'll see also in brackets like 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 1.8, 1.6, 0.4, and 3.6. These are actually the individual chi-squared values. So I'll go back to the actual notes here. All right, you can see I tried my best to kind of replicate that. So you can see um, the work that I showed you in each cell, and then obviously those same uh, numbers, the 0 0.8, the 0 0.2, the 1.8, all those numbers are right there as well. Okay, so again, you can do all of this stuff by hand using a calculator, right? Just your cell phone or, you know, if you have a, a TI-30XS like we use in class, right? If you have a simple scientific calculator, you can even use Desmos to use their calculator. Um, you can do all of this. If you'd like to go a little faster and use the links to calculate it for you, absolutely, that's fine too. So it gives you the chi-squared statistic of 8.4. So that matches up with our chi-squared value here and then the p-value rounded of 0 0.015, all right? So anyway, I'm not gonna get into like the problem because hopefully you've already watched the previous video, as I said, that goes through the entire problem. This video is just as kind of a, um, I needed to update a part of that video from last year because last year, as I said, I used the Inspire and this year we're not. So again, please, please, please watch that previous video. I know it's longer and then come to this to make sure you know how to uh, use this link. All right, good luck.